Whoa, what are these things? This looks bad. Our scans show those things can spawn more Aperon. So, now this is the introduction of the hatches. These, which can spawn more Aperoids. These, um, are becoming recurring, like, um, objective throughout the game. And, I don't know if you saw what I picked up there, but I picked up some grenades. Um, ah, there's 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 some more right there. I don't really like the grenades in this game. Well, not in one player anyway. Whoa! Fortunately, if your landmaster gets destroyed, they just send you another one, which is nice. And Slippy's in trouble. Big freaking surprise. Like I say, it's always Slippy or. Um, uh, crystal, not as much Falco, which is probably a good thing. Which is probably a good thing. Which is probably makes more sense since Falco is supposed to be the ace pilot. They're supposed to be covering you. You're covering them half the time. So, there are more grenades. Like I say, don't, there's grenades and there's sensor bombs. Neither of which I find very useful in single player. But what are you going to do? I prefer just to stick with the guns. Yeah, but things start getting tougher at this point in the level because there are more enemies out there, are, and there's a couple tougher ones around. Um, and those are all inside, I believe. Ah, yeah, I shot out this door earlier because I thought there'd be enemies in here, but no, this is where the hatches start appearing inside, so you've got to take them out. So you have to get out of your landmaster and take them out. More machine gun ammo, which is nice, considering there are just regular aperoids in here. No tougher ones. Only a few targets left. Keep it up. Uh where was I? Uh, I missed one. I oh there's the sensor bombs. Um I might show those. Yeah these are the grades and the sensor bombs. Sensor bombs you place down as the name suggests and enemies run over them and get sh them blow up. Hey, there's a silver ring over there, I might grab it. I guess. So yeah, silver rings do what they do in the regular... I, th I didn't notice that before, they say supplies on them. But yeah, the aperoids start appearing more out of force Ah, this thing. These things are really irritating. Um, If you stay a distance away from them, they'll, it'll hide its weak point, which is its head there and start firing missiles at you. But if you get too close, it will move towards you very quickly, so... You're going to want to um, uh, get the right distance away, so it can't just out outright ram you and do massive damage. Uh, that's, another, that's another one down. And there are more in here. Uh, that's a big one. I think I'll leave that, because <laughs> I'm just going to get killed in close range. So I believe the last two are inside here. And give me a sec, the sound of my earphones has gone out. Just gonna check if the recording's alright. Yeah, sorry about that. The sound of my headphones has got when this happened before when I was testing the setup, so it, the sound is still recording, or it should be. I'll make sure it is. Um, so, which is that's not the lift. I thought that was the lift. <laughs> so yeah. I don't even know why I bothered telling you this because that probably doesn't inspire confidence. And there's a Check inside buildings for targets too Yeah, there's a lift here where this is where the last target is.
more machine gun ammo, which is nice. And that's the last target. A new target has been confirmed. Oh no! Wait, no, it's not. Last one. Find it all on your radar. Yeah, that's one thing. You have to be careful not to slack off at this at points like this because sometimes I pull Oops. stuff like this on you. Oh, Destroy that's not good. I'm going to skip. I'm probably going to skip right to the getting that last one again. <laughs> it's, you probably don't want to watch me do this all over again. So see you in a minute. Not okay, back to where I was. Um, and I'm right near the tar last target. That's convenient. So yeah, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> having to go through all that just to hit the one target. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. So, the leader, huh? That thing is giant and ugly. Nice observation, Falco. That thing has a cool memory. You heard the lady, Fox. We gotta get that core memory. So this is the bot for this is the first ground level boss. It's fairly simple. Um, first avoid its projectiles. First you've got to shoot. Ah! First, so it's very simple. Then I get my landmaster blown up. Thankfully. <laughs> Peppy sluts spawn some fairly close to you when you lose them on the boss. But yeah, you shoot down, you shoot the bottom thing until it falls, and then you have to shoot its weak point on top. And avoid when it tries to shoot from the top, like so, and damn it. Oddly, how you can't go move to the sides on top of the. Um, on top of the um, boss. You, but you can roll, so. You're going to want to roll out the way if you want to stay on top of the Aperoid boss thing. This probably has a name. I just never, I just never bothered to look. Um, so yeah, while I'm doing this, I think I'll talk about the, just this game in general. Um, I, the land stages are were like the main reason that this game wasn't very well received. I think that's kind of obvious why, since. Um, Since I fell off, um, <laughs> since um, everyone was expecting a new stuff update, I think I've fallen. Where am I? Just <laughs> fell behind the wall. Um, since everyone was expecting like a new Star Fox game, like the R Wing, the sh uh, like scrolling shooters, that sort of stuff. But also because the levels themselves aren't very inspired, at least in my opinion. Um, they're alright, they're alright. I personally really enjoy them, I really like this game, but they they aren't very inspired, they do get a bit tedious later on, so I could see why this game wasn't very well received in that respect. The level, um, basically, the Arwing levels are still fantastic, though, so. Mission complete. That's the second level done, and with only one death! My Fox, first death so far. Okay. So I'm going to be downhill from here and stop talking over the cutscenes. Idiot. I know that. Hey, it looks like that distress signal is no longer transmitting. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not my mic found. Hey, <laughs> Long time no see, Fox. SOS signal. It was you? <laughs> as soon as I'm here, I'll just help myself to this! No, that's... Oh, look at this picture on the side of his ship if you want nightmares. You can't quite see it, but um, behind it is the speed bump. But... Yeah. Stop! Pigma! Dang! Fox, I'm tracking Pigma on radar. Get back to the Great Fox now! All ships are home. 
Not a bad day's work. These Aperoids, as enemies go, they're a handful. Okay, so that was the second mission. We um we found the core memory and got it nabbed by Pigma. Get. So next time I guess we'll we'll be going after Sorry, next time we'll be going after Pigma to try and tear it down that core memory. And hopefully um, hopefully get some more information on the Aperoids. That's um, in the meantime, I will see you next in the meantime I will see you next time. <laughs> Whatever. See you next time. Bye.